Welcome to Sir RP's channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve the side or angle of oblique triangles using the law of sine. Are you ready to learn? Set back, relax, and get ready to learn. To start our session, let us first define what an oblique triangle is. An oblique triangle is a triangle with no right angles. Example, in the figure below, triangle A, B, and C, and triangle X, Y, Z are oblique triangles. As you can see, we have for A, B, C, three acute angles. And for X, Y, Z, we have two acute angles with one obtuse angle. There is no right angle for these triangles. For us to solve for the sides and angles of an oblique triangle, we can apply the law of sine and the law of cosine. But for this video, you're going to learn first of the law of sine. The law of sine states that the ratio of a side to the sine of its opposite angle are equal. This is the formula. Side A over sine A is equal to B over sine B, and it's equal to C over sine C. Or A, B, and C, the small letters, are the sides opposite to the angles A, B, and C. The capital letters represent the angles. Note that the formula for the law of sine can also be written as sine A over A sine b over b and sine c over c. When to use the law of sine? We use the law of sine when a, one side and two angles are given. Take note, one side and two angles are given. It can be asa or saa. Second, two sides and a non-included angle are given. That is ssa. Let's look at the examples. For the first example, in triangle ABC, if side AC is equal to 12, angle B is equal to 40 degrees, and angle C is equal to 75 degrees, find sides AB and BC. Here are the solutions. Number one, draw the figure and indicate the measurement. Take note, we have the following given numbers or measurements. AC, the sides, side AC, which is 12. Angle B, 40 degrees. And angle C, 75 degrees. Take note that the naming of the sides, based on the definition, it's the opposite. Opposite to the angle. So we have angle C with the side C, angle B with side B, and angle A with side A. Just indicate the measurement. Considering that we have two angles given here, we have 40 and 75, we can take the sum of the interior angles, which is 180. We need to add the three angles, A, B, and C. That's equal to 180. And then substitute now the given values, which are 40 degrees and 75 degrees. From there, angle A is just equal to 65 degrees. Now, considering that we have complete values for our angles, we can now solve for the measurement of the sides B and C. Using the formula, we let A be equal to side BC, B, that's AC, and C, side AB. Just write the formula and then substitute the given values as presented in the previous slides. From there, we can solve for A, or C. It's for us to decide which to solve first. Here, uh, use the complete ratio to solve for A and C. So I'll start with solving for A. We'll just take two ratios, A over sine 65 degrees and 12 over sine 40 degrees. We get its cross product. A times sine 40, that's A sine 40, and 12 times sine 65 degrees, 
terrestrial sine 65 degrees. From there, we take the value of A by dividing both sides by sine 40 or by multiplying both sides by 1 over sine 40. So we have now the value of A, which is 12 sine 65 degrees over sine 40 degrees. Divide, the result will be 16.92. It's our approximately 17 units for the sine A. And then the second one is we need to solve for C. We'll do the same process. 12 over sine 40 degrees is equal to C over sine 75 degrees. Then we get its cross product. We have C sine 40 degrees at 12 sine 75 degrees. To find C, we have 18.03 or approximately 18 units. Therefore, BC is 17 units and AB is 18 units. We now have the complete uh, values for the entire triangle. That's how we solve for the measures of the sides and angles of an oblique triangle using the law of sine. For the second example, in triangle XYZ, if XY is 13, XZ is 18, and angle Y is 105 degrees, find the measures of angles Z and x and the side yz. Just like the previous example, you need to draw the figure and indicate the measurements. Take note again that the naming of the sides are based from its angles. You need to consider that it's opposite. x to x, y to y, and z to z. Based on the figure, Two sides and an included angle are given. Thus, this is an ambiguous case. So to solve for this, we have the following solution. Let A be equal to 18 and B be equal to 13. Since the non-included angle, which is angle Y, is obtuse and side A is greater than side B, we have exactly one solution for ambiguous case. Substitute now the values and we let X be equal to YZ y be equal to xz and z be equal to xy, we now have the formula. x over sine x is equal to y over sine y is equal to z over sine z. Then we can now solve for the measure of angle z by using the completed ratio. We have 18 over sine 105 is equal to 13 over sine z. We need to solve for z first. Considering that for x, we need to find its side and angle. We now have 18 times sine z is 18 sine z. 13 times sine 105 is 13 sine 105. Then we have to find z. We divide both sides by 18 or multiply both sides by 1 over 18. We now have sine z is equal to 13 sine 105 over 18. But take note that we are asked of the value of z. Thus, we need to get the inverse of sine. Taking the inverse of sine, 13 sine 105 over 18, we have 44 degrees as the value of angle z. For you to get the inverse of the sine, you can use the calculator. For a scientific calculator, it's second or shift. Then you press sine, then input the value that is 13 sine 105 divided by 18. That's how we use the calculator to solve for the inverse. After that, since we now have the value of z, we can now solve for the value of x using the, su the sum of the interior angles. That is 180 minus 149, our value of x is 31. And from there, we can now solve for side x. We'll do the same process. Okay, that, that's x sine 105 degrees, 18 sine 31 degrees. Then we divide to find x. Our value for x is approximately 10 units. Therefore, the measure of angle x is 31 degrees. Angle Z is 44 degrees and YZ is 10 units. You have some questions? Use the comments section. For this time, I want to leave this for your individual practice. 
in triangle ILY, if IL is 15 units, angle L is 123 units, and angle Y is 24 units, find LY and IY. For number two, in triangle PQR, if PQ is 28 units, PR is 39 units, and the angle Q is 53 degrees, find the measure of angles P and R, and side QR. Use the comment section for your answers. Some key points. Again, oblique triangles are triangles with no right angles. And we have this law of sign which states that the ratio of a side to the sine of its opposite angle are equal given the formula. And that ends our session for today. Thank you, Piper Philippines, for the slides used in this presentation. Once again, thank you and happy learning. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button to receive updates. This is Sir RP.